Hi right, guys, okay, so from now on there's going to be a weekly schedule for you all to follow uh, just to make it super simple. Um, so this is the sixth grade schedule, but each grade will get it their own schedule. Um, Mondays are all the same for each class. So you're going to turn in all of your art projects on MS Teams on Monday. Okay. Next, you will pick new projects you'll be doing for the week. Okay. And so let's go over that a little bit. What does that look like? So if I click here, um, I'm gonna, it's going to pull up um, our art projects. So um, you'll see that there are um, a whole bunch of them. So over here are the names, and then the directions, the links, and the points. So up here is also the directions. So you're going to uh, pick a project that interests you. You're going to do enough projects that total 50 points. Okay. You're going to photograph your project or scan it, and then you're going to turn it in. All right. So you have a whole week to collect 50 points. So you know you could do the sketch. You continue the sketchbook diary project that we did last week if it was something that you were really into. Um, that's worth 10 points per page. Okay. YouTube drawings. Do um, you can do some tutorials over here. I have a bunch of tutorials. Or if you find one that you like, go ahead and do that. Ten points per drawing. Watercolor painting. Okay, just paint uh, a beautiful watercolor painting. Um, there's some in inspiration here. A tutorial. Twenty points per painting. Okay, digital art. Okay, I know a lot of you are doing digital art. That's great. Keep it going. Um, you could also animate or create a fun video. Uh, anything that you have available to use that make that's creative, go ahead and do it. Um, I put some apps here um, just for reference if you wanted to download some new ones or try it. 10 points per artwork that you make digitally. Okay. Uh, free draws on here. You can um, there's some drawing prompts, a rubric, because you can't just turn in anything. It needs to look like you've uh, spent some time at it. Five points per drawing. Okay, magazine strip silhouette. Okay, there's a step-by-step -step guide here. Okay, so if I click on it, you're gonna see um, how to do it. Okay, um, it'll go through the whole process. Um, so I made that worth 30 points because it's a big project. Nature art photography. Some of you last year who were in my class in seventh grade, um, seventh graders last year did uh, nature art photography. It's the same project. Um, you can get inspired by the artist we studied and then um, there's more inspiration here so if I click on it you can see what I'm talking about so you can use nature to create art so going out to the park and um, making some of this cool stuff happen of course it doesn't need to be as you know, do your best right it doesn't need to be perfect uh, but this is just some inspiration okay um, so that's nature art photography all right Next, you can write or draw a letter to a relative or a friend. Um, I think that that would be a great way of um, communicating and reaching out to people during this whole thing. So there's an article about the art of letter writing. Um, just snap a picture, send it to me, five points per letter. Um, Pixlr is a, is a really good website. Um, there's a bunch of tutorials. Now, it's kind of, um, it's kind of tricky. Um, so I'm giving you 25 points each for doing a tutorial. You must send me your finished work. So it's a lot of self-directed learning for this project. Um, all right, watch a movie about an artist. So you must have your parents' permission before you watch the movie, but find one about an artist. There's a list of some here. <clears throat> watch it and then um, write, about, write a summary um, about the movie, 20 points per summary. Virtual field trip. You can take a virtual field trip to a museum. Um, I've got a link of them right here. Um, and once you've done touring the museum, you'll want to focus on one artwork, okay? Click the Google form. Type your name, what museum that you uh, visited, the name of the artwork. You know, just fill out the form. Um, pretty straightforward, <clears throat> okay? 15 points per artwork. Um, Google Arts and Culture, you can explore that and write an article, <clears throat> sorry, a paragraph about that. 
that's pretty straightforward as well. Found object art. So finding old CDs or cardboard, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> or um, old bottle caps, anything, um, making art out of it. There's some links here that show you um, what I'm talking about, some inspiration. So lots of cool stuff that you can do. Um, you get creative um, and really make, make it your own, okay? Coloring, just color a page. Um, you can print it out here, five points. Decorate your wall in your room. This is a cool one. So you can take a wall that you've already decorated and redecorate it, or if there's a blank wall that you want to put art on, you can do that. But you must take a before and after photo of the wall to get points. Okay, here's inspirations here. 25 points if you do that. Music art. Pick a song that you love right now and make some art about it. Five points per uh, per drawing. Okay, guys. So that is what you want to do, and you want to um, you know you need to get to a total of fifty points per week. Okay. Once you have all your art projects, you will go to MS Teams and upload them, and then um, yeah, and then you're good. Okay. That's um, you can turn it in. Uh, I'm gonna make it so I'll sign this on Mondays, and it'll be due the following Monday before noon. Okay, so you've got one whole week, seven days to do it, um, and it's really flexible, right? So there's a lot of fun things you can do. So if you go down through the list, um, if you're confused that Monday about what to do, uh, there's office hours right here. You just click that link, take you to the office hours, um, and make sure you're checking the uh, art page daily, okay? Work on your art projects on Tuesday. So it just goes through the list. So you can follow it, right? I've got our office hours um, in here. Also, on Fridays, I'm going to open up um, a live session where you can draw with me. From 11 to 11.45, I'll be drawing. So you can drop in and say hi, and uh, we can all work on our art project together, OK? So that's how it will work going forward. Just look at the schedule um, and follow it day by day. It's straightforward, right? Very straightforward, very clear. If you have questions, please send me a chat message. Do not post on the page um, uh, because it just it, it adds uh, a lot of extra information on our page that we don't need. So send me a chat message if you need anything. Okay, guys? Okay, can't wait to see what you make. I hope everyone's doing good, and I hope to get to see you guys in some of our sessions. Okay, bye.